Hello there everyone and welcome to another edition of Lydia's Crafty Corner with me Lydia in my little crafty corner. So today we're going to be making two different cards with different looks using scraps and 3D embossing folders. So I'm going to be using the same cardstock for each of the different cards that we have here and I'm going to be using Wisteria and I'm going to be using the beautiful pink diamond, the mountain mist and also the buttercream. So these come from four different sets and I have a beautiful yellow a blue, a pink, and a purple. So for each of these, I'm gonna cut these into strips. So each of these are three inches wide, and then I'm gonna cut four a quarter of an inch strips, two half an inch strips, and I'm gonna be left with a one inch strip as well. So I'm gonna do that for each of the colors so I have all of these beautiful colored cardstock strips. Now you could use scraps if you wanted to. Now I'm gonna add these onto a piece of copier paper. So this is just a thin piece of paper, and this is just to keep them in position while I do my little magic with them. So I'm just kind of popping these into place, keeping them nice and straight, butt up to each other. Now I'm not worrying about the kind of um, design that I'm going for. I'm not worried about them having them pink, blue, purple. I'm just kind of getting a random effect with these and I do love the thin strips and the thick strips all together. But if you wanted to, you could definitely cut these all of the same size and create more of a regular pattern with them if you wanted to. So once I've got to this little stage here, I am just gonna trim a couple of them just so I can use more of those smaller strips in these little corner pieces that we have down in the corners. So I'm just gonna keep going until I have this whole piece nicely covered with these beautiful colorful strips. Now these do remind me of summer colors or you could use some different ones if you wanted to. And again, scraps would work perfect for this, all different colors in various different sizes too. So once I have that done, I'm gonna move on to another piece. Now this is four and a quarter by five and a half, same as the other one, and just a piece of copier paper for this one, I'm just gonna go on the longer side, so I'm not gonna use as many strips for this one. And again, I'm just um, kind of popping these where I want them to go. I'm not worrying too much that I have a pattern um, come, a forming out of this one. It's just kind of various and pop them down. I just love this little effect where everything's kind of higgledy-piggledy, but it's all really, really pretty and it all does work together. So once I have all of my little strips into position, I can then just go ahead and give it a trim around if I need to. Otherwise, just leave it as it is. Don't worry too much about it at this point. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna spritz this one here with a little bit of water, and I'm gonna be using the Cool Doodles um, 3D embossing folder to pop this into. Now this one did need a little bit more of a trim at the top just so I could fit this in but again don't worry it being perfect it's going to be okay. So the little spritz of water is going to stop that kind of ripping when you do push that through your die cutting machine. So I've popped this through my die cut machine and you can see just how pretty that little pattern is that we do have for that 3D embossing folder. So I'm just gonna pop this one over to the side and do the same for the other one. A little bit of a spritz of water, just to moisten it up a little bit. And I'm gonna be using the pressed flowers for this one. And again, I'm just gonna pop my little um, sheet into place and then run that through my die cutter machine to get that really beautiful 3D embossed effect. Now for this one here, this one's the one that we use the cool doodles on, I'm gonna keep this as one little sheet and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some white pigment ink and I'm just gonna rub that lightly over the embossed parts of the design and that's just gonna add some highlights to those pretty little doodles that we do have there. So for this one, I'm gonna do something slightly different and I'm gonna cut between those little panels that we have. So I find the easiest way to do this is kind of bend them over and then once you have that little crease there, you can cut down that crease to kind of separate these pieces. So we did need them all together so we could run that through the die cutting machine and so the die cuts the proper way that I wanted to. And I'm then just gonna kind of separate these and then we're gonna use a kind of a jigsaw, it's gonna be like a jigsaw puzzle later on. So once I've done that again, I'm gonna rub over these little embossed images, but I am gonna do this strip by strip. So for the pink strips that we have, I'm gonna be using the Pinkalicious ink for this one. And I'm gonna just rub this over really quite lightly, just kind of touching 
that embossed part just so I can kind of really make that embossed part shine and add a little bit more interest to these little strips. So once I've finished with the pink, I'm then gonna move on to the hydrangea ink. And I'm gonna be doing this onto the wisteria cardstock. So the little strips that we have that are purple, um, I'm just gonna be adding this beautiful color onto the embossed edges of that one there. So once I've done the purple, I'm then gonna move on to the blue. And for the, this one, I'm gonna be using the Volcano Lake to add that embossed detail. And then I'm gonna be using the Fresh Lemon for the yellow strips there. Once I've done that, I can pop these all together again like a little bit of a jigsaw. You may wanna pop the embossing folder off to the side of you can, so you can just make sure that you have all of the pieces in the right place. I'm then gonna take a card base, so this is four and a quarter by five and a half, and I'm just gonna pop my strips into place. Now this time, I'm going to go horizontally, and I am using the grid lines that we do have on my cutting mat behind me to make sure that that first piece was really nice and straight. Once I was happy with the straightness of that, I could then go ahead and kind of stick all of the other things back into place, nicely butting up the pieces and making sure that they all connect properly like a really beautiful, colorful jigsaw puzzle. So I'm just gonna keep going with this, making sure that I have the right strip in the right place so I can move on to the next one. So you are gonna wanna start at one point and then kind of move out from that one. I'm just gonna keep going until I have the whole of the little jigsaw puzzle complete. So I just have this piece and then this pink piece to finish off. Now I did have a little bit of a white edge at the top, but all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take another of those little pieces that we had. So this is the blue again, so the mountain mist, and I'm just gonna pop, kind of cut a little bit of a strip there and then pop that into place where I do have that white edge. So that's not really gonna bother me anymore. So once I have that, I can thus just turn the card over and I am gonna cut off all of the overhanging pieces from behind. I do find that this gives a cleaner finish to the card. So I've just got another piece of card here. So this is another card base. And I'm just gonna adhere that with the beautiful panel that we had from the time before, covering any spaces that I did have just in that corner there before turning the card over again and chopping off all of these little overhanging pieces from behind. For the sentiments, I am gonna be using the Just a Number stamp set, and I, I do love the sentiments in this. They're quite fun and playful, and I do love the kind of look of them as well, because they are mix and match ones that you can use. Now, I'm just stamping these onto strips. I did get that one not correct. It was a little bit kind of askew. So all I've done is I've just flipped that over and stamped it on the behind of that strip. No one is gonna know as soon as we've stuck that down. I am then gonna add some foam tape to both of our little strips, and I'm just gonna pop these into place onto the card bases, again, turning the card over to get rid of any overhanging pieces from behind. So as you can see, I kind of covered that wonky sentiment, flipped it over, and no one even knows it's there. So here are the cards complete. I really do hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you do like the techniques involved. Just two different looks that you can get with your 3D embossing folders and your scraps. I'm sure there are more. So if you do create a card that was inspired by these, it would be great if you do share because I'd love to see. Again, everyone, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again really, really soon. Bye-bye. Hello there, crafty friend, Lydia here. Just popping in to say that you can get your daily dose of crafting tips, techniques, and tutorials just like this by subscribing to the Altenew YouTube channel. All you need to do is click on that little bell up there and you will never miss a video. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.